I mean, I was amazed at how much we laughed, even wearing the exosuits, which were very, very heavy. But I mean, we just found ways of trying to laugh through all of the days, and, and that was Blunt, cool. She's so, look, you're standing here, but she's so charming, funny, talented. Like, every day, no matter how challenging the day was, we did. She made we me did laugh. laugh. You made yeah. me laugh from morning <laughs> to night, no matter how. And it was, and it was also, you know, with this movie, it's kind of film we were working very long hours and then mm. we'd go we'd all go back uh, to the conference room and, and do and, script meetings yeah, and work and on script meetings it was a really throughout. collaborative film you know and i and I've, I've i've said this to you before it's the biggest film i've ever been up you know been a part of but the most collaborative one which is surprising i would have thought with a big studio film like it's people get a bit um wary of too many ideas but that it was always the best idea be one wary, on this too many ideas. Too many it's ideas. Like, thought you were going to be blunt, like. Blunt's going on again. Thanks anyway blunt's for that. Blunt's going note. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks anyway for your <laughs> notes. I'll pass. Listen, oh, the God. thing about Doug is, is, and you see his movies, he has such a unique take, and I love the characters in his films. And I spent a good year on the film with him. And, you know, luckily, I mean, Emily is an actress we always hoped to get and wanted her to come on as someone I wanted to work with, and she came on. It was, it was the three of us were working, you know, very diligent for a long time, and the structure of the film was really what Chris McQuarrie mm. wrote. But it, it, is, it is the kind of film that needed that level of humanity, commitment, actually. involvement, and humanity, and you just go over things layer upon layer. Mm. And, and I think when, when the audiences see the film, the kind of characters that... You know, this is this is such a unique love story, mm. and it is a love story, and and it has tremendous amount of humor and humanity, and, and you only get that through, you know, that. And it was also the most challenging structure for a film that I've ever been a part of. I mean, I've produced many films and developed and worked on many films, but th this was the cool thing about the movie was that I think interested Doug and myself was this whole point of the reset, being able to reset the day. I mean, my character gets this alien power. And he's but using it as an advantage for entertainment rather than it becoming like a tedious, I, you know, like a That's tedious concept. That's what we were hoping concept. it would not be a tedious, like we boring, <laughs> we were hoping. We were, we were like, just, is this gonna get boring? very diligently, yeah. like just, but it's also progressing character and story mm. the whole time. And, and her character is, is a fascinating, role because it's it, you know it, this is this is a subjective journey taken from cage's point of view my character essentially is pretty much a, a coward who makes a mistake and tries to blackmail a general and then he gets sent to the front on the beaches of normandy and he f goes along this journey in the day and it's it's quite terrifying and then he dies but with that he gets this alien power and with that he our two characters, their lives intersect, where she is this, she's a soldier, she's a great warrior. And she had the power at one point, and then lost it, and thought, feels that she's going into this battle this day, and she's going to lose, and all humanity's going to lose. And now, of course, here's my character who has this power, and he's not a soldier, he's not, he doesn't want the power, he doesn't want to fight, he's... A coward, really. He's a coward, and very human, you know? and. Mm. So she becomes his sensei, his <laughs> tormentor, his... <laughs> <laughs> he's a very good weapon she's, for her, She's you know? unrelenting, and yeah. he's just like, look, let's just take a moment here, you know? And she's just, like, no, you're injured, reset. Yeah, exactly. reset, and he's yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so as this progresses, you know, every single day, she never remembers him. And so it has this, of course, he's living through it, and... So like an unrequited relationship. Yes, and he, he learns about her, and the audience learns about her through Cage's journey. And it's just a, it's just a really very Lyman-esque, and it has the kind of humor that I love in a film. I mean, yeah. it's one he's of the things that we... He's got a sort of irreverence, hasn't he, Doug, to his films. And, you know, I think that's what's so exciting about him. He finds these moments of great spontaneity within a, a premise and a concept that is very kind of high, like a very high concept sci-fi idea he finds these wonderful moments of humor and humanity and that's really the place that Doug operates from you know he really wants to know like what's a real moment what's a real exchange what's a real answer to that question you know he's he just always tries to carve out new space for himself within within a genre and yeah. I love that about yeah. Doug 
we're what, constantly what searching for the, that kind of those kind of moments. And the thing, I mean, Doug and I talked about right from the beginning is, you know, what we wanted was a, was really that that full journey for an audience where it has that drama, and yet it has that kind of character comedy that that I love, that are really my roots as as an actor that we, I like exploring. So constantly with with the with the kind of and in this film, death is 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 obviously just it's emotional and it's but it's also quite humorous and so we were, I was constantly pushing the stunt guys for you know it's like look this is I would have him I say this is Wiley Coyote please I've thrown me against violent. the wall make yeah. it more violent and Doug and I would come up with and laugh you know I mean that's because that's our sense of humor all of us were <laughs> Death, like yeah. how funny <laughs> this will be you know to die this way it was a hundred times so it was exciting It was so much fun, yeah, that I got to kill him in many different ways and how many I different ways can I shoot him in the laugh. head, you know, it was, it was, there was a, there was one day where I think I shot him like 25 times in the head and it was, it was kind of amazing, you know, and there were different ways in which I shot him, do I feel bad about it, am I kind of nonchalant about it, do I not want to see, is it kind of ugly and, and I just loved that, I mean, and Tom was so game, you know, that we did days where we just improv stuff. So he was like, why don't we do one where, where my where my leg's broken? And I'm saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And that's the one that's made it into the movie. And at this point, he's so over it. And 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 at first you see him kind of terrified by her killing him. And then it becomes that he's just, it's happened so many times. Well, he's like, he's do, it, do, it, just do it, just do it, just do it. He's just yeah, a little shocked. like, what? She's gonna, and then you just, I love, it was so much fun shooting her. Like we, we had so many different angles and close-ups and we'd get like in here like this and out to just get like, just, you know, and she's just like nonplussed by it. You know, mm. where Cage is, it hurts every time. Mm. He still doesn't like the sight of blood. So it was just a wonderful, it's a cool chemistry wonderful to scenes play. to yeah. play and to come up with. Oh, more for you. <laughs> I for Tom, it was so easy. easy. I mean, and like, yeah. <laughs> poor Emily. <laughs> poor Emily. Poor <laughs> Emily. <laughs> no, it was it was hard for both of us. I, I remember signing on to this, and Tom just said, this is going to be physically the most challenging movie I've ever done. And I was like, great. So I'm in at the deep end of action movies, you know. Um, and, but we trained a lot for it. You know, I think that was the only way to do it, was to prepare. And well, I, look, I, I worked for like three months. I have to say for Emily, months. she worked, look, the thing that you did, you know, which I see, you know, the film you also made with uh, Matt, mm. when you trained as a dancer. Mm. I, I knew the kind of commitment. It, it's not because, look, she's a great actress. You needed someone that has the com understanding of comedy and drama and also a sense of, of a, a cinematic kind of romantic quality. And she trained hard for three months and was really, really prepared. And, but I also knew that this was the deep end of action. It's mm. very complex. And the stuff that we wanted to accomplish together, just for the look of the film and for the character of the movie, that would make it original. And, and Doug and I talked about it right from the beginning, is that we actually do wear the exosuits, that they are practical. And, you know, Pierre Bohanam, who, who, who designed them, you know, I spent, I spent a good uh, almost two months working with the suit before the actors came. And even beforehand, I, I knew it was going to be very challenging. Mm worked with it to try to figure out what what is the action going to be and and it's not just it's it's character like the elegance of her character we would not have been able to get those shots had she not done it and that's it's not just action it's also character and story mm -hmm. so I have a great respect for Emily and what thank you what she Tom. did no it's true jeez I didn't did I ever tell you that when we were making it did, yes. yeah. did. Very, it's like old one more to me yeah I know it's just a board with it but these <laughs> people don't know that <laughs> So I just want these people to also know how hard you work. <laughs> and it's really important because most people think that you just earn the that trailer. That I just swan in and just, let someone else exactly, do it. Exactly, let someone yeah. else do it. That's not true.